71. Let's read the question. Which of the following statement is correct? So, let's find out number 1. Kp is less than Kc for 2NO2 gives 2NO plus O2 at 300 Kelvin. Student, as we all know that Kp is equals to Kc RT raised to the power delta Ng. So that means, student, first of all, we have to calculate the value of delta Ng, which is equals to number of gaseous products minus number of gaseous reactants. So, for this equation, number of gaseous products is 3 and number of gaseous reactant is 2. So, 3 minus 2 is 1. That means, Kp is equals to Kc RT raised to the power 1. That means, Kp is greater than Kc. As it is very clear, number 1 is an incorrect statement. Moving to number 2, partial pressure of O2 in the reaction 2 Ag2O gives 4 Ag plus O2 at equilibrium is Kp raised to the power 1 by 3. So, student, for this option, as we can see that Ag2O and Ag both are in solid state. So, it is very clear that Kp is equals to partial pressure of O2. That means number 2 is also an incorrect option. Moving to number 3, the change in pressure will not affect the equilibrium constant for PCL5 gives PCL3 plus Cl2. Student, this is a correct statement as we all know that Kp and Kc is affected only by temperature. So, let us read number 4. Unit of Kc is mole per liter for H2 gases plus I2 gases gives 2 HI gases. Students, it is very clear that in number 4th option, number of moles of reactants is equal to number of moles of product. So, here the Kc is unitless. That means number 4th is also an incorrect option. That means the correct answer is option 3. Moving to next question, students, which is 72. In a 2 litre flask, the degree of dissociation of XY5 at equilibrium is 40% when 10 moles of XY5 are introduced. The value of equilibrium constant in mole per litre for XY5 gives XY3 plus Y2 is. The options are 1.33, the next is 2.67, the next is 4.81 and the last is 2.405. Student here, we are given with the equation xy5 dissociates to give xy3 plus y2. And the initial number of moles of xy5 is 10. So, the initial number of moles of xy3 and y2 will be 0. At equilibrium, it is given that 40% of xy5 is dissociated. So, 40% of 10 is 4. So, 4 moles of XY5 is dissociated. So, number of moles of XY5 left is 6 and number of moles of XY3 formed is 4 and Y2 formed is also 4. So, equilibrium constant Kc is equal to concentration of XY3 multiplied by concentration of Y2 upon concentration of XY5. Students, as we are given with the value of volume, which is 2 litre, let us put the value of concentration of XY3, Y2 and XY5 in the expression of equilibrium constant, which is equals to Kc. Number of moles of XY3 is 4 and the volume is 2 litre. Number of moles of Y2 is 4 and the volume is 2 litre. Number of moles of XY5 is 6 and the volume is 2 litre. So, let us calculate will become 4 upon 3 which is equal to 1.33 that means the correct answer is option number 1 moving to next question students which is 73 which of the following mixture can act as a buffer the options are H2CO3 and NaHCO3 student number 1 will act as a buffer as H2CO3 is a weak acid and NaHCO3 is its salt with a strong base. Moving to next, H2CO3 and Na2CO3. This will also act as a buffer as H2CO3 is a weak acid and Na2CO3 is its salt with a strong base. Moving to next, Na2CO3 and NaHCO3. This is also a buffer students as NaHCO3 is a weak acid and Na2CO3 is its salt with a strong base. That means all of these is the correct option number 1, number 2, number 3. 
all will act as a buffer. So the correct answer is number 4. Moving to next question students, which is 74. Which of the following salt will not show salt hydrolysis? Students, as we all know that salts of strong acid and strong base will not undergo hydrolysis. So number 1, NaCl is a salt of strong acid and strong base. That means this will not undergo hydrolysis. Moving to next, NH4Cl. This is a salt of a strong acid and a weak base. This will undergo hydrolysis. Moving to next, NH4 hold to i CO3. This is a salt of a weak acid and a weak base. This will undergo hydrolysis. Moving to next option, NaHCO3. This is a salt of a weak acid and a strong base. This will also undergo hydrolysis. So the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Moving to next question students, which is 75. Two moles of ammonia were added to one liter solution each of two molar H2SO4, two molar HCl, two molar HCOOH. The increasing order of the pH of the resulting solution is. Student, we are given with the pKb of ammonia and pKa of formic acid. Student, we are given that two moles of ammonia combines with three acids that is two molar sulfuric acid, two molar HCl and two molar formic acid. So first of all we have to calculate the number of moles of H ion formed in the given three acids starting with two molar H2SO4. So moles of H plus formed in two molar H2SO4 will be four since H2SO4 is a dibasic acid moving to two molar HCl since HCl is a monobasic acid so two moles of H plus will be formed the last is two molar formic acid student in this case since we know that formic acid is a weaker acid so it will not dissociate completely as a result less than two moles of H plus will be formed so when these acids combines with two moles of ammonia In the first case, that is 2 molar H2SO4, 2 moles of H plus will be left in the solution. In the next case, that is 2 molar HCl, the HCl and ammonia will completely neutralize each other. And in the third case, that is 2 molar formic acid, since the number of moles of H plus will be less than 2, as a result, the solution will be basic in nature, since 2 moles of ammonia will be added. So it is very clear that the pH of formic acid will be highest followed by the pH of HCl and the least pH will be observed in H2SO4. So, the correct order of pH will be formic acid followed by HCl and least pH is of A that is H2SO4. So, the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Moving to next question students. <laughs> 